Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2019 film The Shed, and it is a Shutter exclusive. It comes out on Thursday, August 27th uh, on Shutter streaming service. So since this is a review that is up before it's actually hitting Shutter, and since it's just hitting Shutter and hasn't really been seen other places, this is a no spoilers review. So you can safely watch this and get all the information that you need from my perspective uh, and not have spoilers really except for kind of some thematic stuff but that's about it although it's not really much of a spoiler it's very in your face very early in the film so anyway the shed was directed by frank sabatella who did the film blood knight the legend of mary hatchet i've not seen this other than that he's just done a bunch of short films that's the only feature length film that he's done uh, written by Sabatella and Jason Rice. Apparently, the screenplay was written by Sabatella. Jason Rice came up with the story. So, yeah. So, a quick synopsis uh, for me to give you, just because I'm not doing spoilers with this. So, this is a film about, basically, a vampire that ends up in the shed, the shed, of a high school student. And how he ends up dealing with it. And it ties into the fact that this is a bullied kid, so there is a big focus in the film on bullying. And I will say up front, I love the idea of tying vampires and bullying because there's a really good connection there where vampires feed off of people with, you know, by drinking their blood, obviously, which is their life essence. And bullies feed off of people by causing fear, by depleting them emotionally and their self-esteem as well. So there's a lot that was really good potential-wise with that setup. And there is a really good setup in this film early on. Like, the opening scene is pretty good uh, and is attention-grabbing and tells you immediately, vampire. So that's not really a, you know... It's not really a spoiler because within the first minute, you know, it's vampire. So I love that concept of bully and vampire coming together. That said, I don't like this film. Uh, and, you know, I know I have been saying you should just watch, you know, every film's worth watching at least once so that at least you can make up your mind on whether you like it or not. And I, I would still say that for this because there might be some people out there who really like this. But if it's a scenario where I'm... I personally am not, you know, watching all the screeners for uh, Shudder to do these reviews, and I'm talking to myself in the past. I would tell myself, don't waste your time. Um, the script is not good, in my opinion. Uh, it felt like there were, once, once again, great concept. There's a lot that could have been done with this. I really think it also could have just maybe been a short film. I think because uh, Sabatella has done so many short films this feels like things got really clunky trying to actually expand something that should have been a short film probably into a feature-length film. Uh, it's slow, it's meandering, it loses, seems to lose its point at many times. When it goes into the bullying portion of things, it kind of beats that to death. And you needed a lot more of the vampire stuff and a lot less of the bullying because people get it. We all know about bullying. You already gave us enough of it in the beginning. Then you should kind of step back from it. Um, I, I don't like this film. I just don't like it. Lots and lots of problems. But I will say from a technical standpoint, pretty good. Um, the I think Sabatella as a director has a lot of promise. Um, his directing is good. I just don't think he should be doing screenplays. At least based off of this one film. I haven't seen his other stuff, so I can't, you know, say blanket statement he should never write it's just he shouldn't have written this screenplay um should have had someone else do that maybe jason rice the guy who came up with the story should have had a go at it uh the other thing is it should have been cut down a bunch they should have edited the film down a bunch because there are a lot of scenes that are stretched out too long a lot of scenes that just feel like that it's like okay you know we understand let's let's move on now so they should have been more heavy-handed with editing some of this stuff down it just the whole thing film just feels like it's consistently not going anywhere when there's so many great opportunities to get to some place and to incorporate the vampires more and just so many great opportunities and there are lots of moments where you it builds up and it gets you to a point where you're like this is it something's gonna happen we're getting there and then it just backs back down and it's such a tease and that's consistent now, in the very end of the film, there is something that's kind of interesting. It does finish in an interesting kind of way, 
but at that point it's too late it's too way too little way too late i mean the movie's a little bit over just minutes over an hour and a half it's it, it's a short film i mean it's a short it, it could be a good a relatively good short film it's just it does not work as a feature film at least the way the script was was written so let me go over some other stuff uh pretty like I said, pretty solid setup. I like the the intro scene. Looks good, except it's a little bit too dark. They need to lighten up a little bit more. If you are going to watch this film, maybe watch it, you know, without any natural light coming in because scenes like that will be easier to see. Although there aren't a lot of film, of uh, scenes like that where you you know need to see a lot more. Um, the beginning, it, actually, this film early on with its tying into bullying and everything, and kind of actually how the events start in the beginning of the film made me think a lot of the um, Adam Egypt Mortimer film, Some Kind of Hate, which I would say Some Kind of Hate is a better film than this, in my opinion, definitely. But, um, and I have problems with that film too, but it's a better film. But there, it, it feels very similar. Uh, it seems like maybe there were some things taken from it because there's some other things that you see are taken from other films. Uh, including there's one scene in particular which I enjoyed. It reminded me of the original Fright Night, which I thought was potentially a nod to Fright Night. Uh, I won't tell you what it is if you're going to watch the film. And then there was another portion where they took one of my favorite quotes from Sleepaway Camp. I don't know if this was actually taking it from Sleepaway Camp, but I recognized the, the line from Sleepaway Camp, and I would like to think that they legitimately took it from that because they're a fan of it, but I like that. That kind of made me laugh. I enjoyed that. So, uh, the directing, like I said, is actually pretty good. The camera work is really good. Probably the best thing about this film is the camera work. Uh, very smooth, great cinematography, very nicely done. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Like, Sabatella, like, good director. I think he should just direct other people's scripts. Uh, and the camera work, very smooth, very nice. Uh, soundtrack is actually pretty solid, too. I did dig on the soundtrack. Um... I already talked about that. There's something that happens that places the main character early on in a pretty tough spot. So you kind of end up wondering how is this individual going to kind of maneuver this landscape and kind of has to deal with an issue here and deal with an issue here. and But they don't come together in all that interesting of a way. It could have been done a lot better, much like I'm saying, you know, all this stuff with the script. There, there's a lot of stuff that could have been done a lot better. It kind of seems like there was this base concept and they just didn't know how to do it. Um, but the script was written anyway. And it just, the film kind of seems to not matter, in my opinion, for that reason. But like I said, you know, maybe some other people will watch this film and be like, I actually loved it. And that's good. I hope that happens because, you know, there are plenty of films out there that other people hate that I really like. And I like to support independent film, too. So I always feel bad when I'm kind of dumping on a film like this, but I'm going to give my honest opinion. So uh, It does seem like a bunch of scenes go on, go on too long, a bit too long. That should have been cut down. There are, actually were a few jump scares in this that got me, and I was impressed with that because jump scares usually don't get me. So they did a good job of kind of setting up the soundtrack leading up to it and setting up the environment and actually kind of getting me to two occasions in the film with a jump scare. So that was cool. Uh, there's a conversation between friends about a moral decision in this that actually feels really, really forced. And even that they have to have this conversation feels very, very forced as well. It doesn't really feel natural to the story, natural to the situation. And that's another thing about it is that a lot of dialogue in this is awkward. And there's a tendency for characters to shift focus to something in the scene that definitely would not have their focus at that time. So for that reason, that's another instance of the writing just wasn't there, and it's making characters do very unnatural things that don't make sense for what's actually going on on the screen. Like, there will be something going on that if someone came into the scene, they would be focusing on that definitely. They look at that basically or deal with that slightly, and then they focus on something else that it just feels like there's a huge disconnect, and you're just like, but what about that? Like, you would definitely be focusing on that, not what you're talking about right now. Like, it's crazy. It, it, it's weird. It just 
it just doesn't jive. It's very disconnected. Um, it keeps feeling like the film is holding back. You get led right up to the moment that could really get interesting, that things could really be happening, and then it retreats from that. And that's why I say it's very much a tease. They keep doing that. There are a few moments where they then give you a payoff, but it's a very little payoff. It's very quick, It's and there's not enough of it. And there are too many moments where it leads you right up to something potentially great and then just walks away from it. Um, there's some, uh, I already talked about the awkward dialogue. Finally got a payoff scene at about the hour mark. So the beginning is pretty good. There's some good payoff in the very, very beginning. And then you don't get another real payoff scene until about the hour mark. Not good. Uh, the movie also starts feeling very repetitive. Much like maybe my review, because I keep saying some of the same things about the script. So my apologies. <laughs> Uh, there is a bit of a twist in this that serves to show how far a character is actually willing to go, which is really supposed to stand in contrast to the main character, and there's, they kind of had a, have a shared situation in a way, and they deal with things very, very differently. So I think that's actually like an inspired, a nice inspired moment in the film, but with everything else going on in the movie, it, it, it kind of gets lost because there's so much else that's not that good. So it's one of those things, again, where there's a good idea there. There's a really good idea, a really good concept, but it just ends up feeling like it doesn't matter because things kind of get lost with everything else going on that went wrong, in my opinion, with the story and the writing and the dialogue and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, there's a tad bit of interest in the end, but once again, it's too little too late at that point. Uh, it has a strong element of bullying and how escapable it is for some, and it also focuses on one of the big root causes of bullying, which is judging other people. And I kind of like that they bring that up in a conversation at one point, because we all judge people to some degree or another, and I think it was good to kind of have it point out that, you know, it's not just about baseless bullying, it starts with judging people and can end up working to bullying. So I did like that aspect of it. Uh, but once again, it kind of takes this problem of bullying and it just beats it to death in the film. They needed to, you know, less is more, walk it back a bunch, would have been better. And yeah, like I said, using the vampires with the bullying is a really cool concept and could have been done really, really well. It just doesn't happen here, unfortunately. So uh, that said, hopefully some people are still interested in checking it out and you can let me know your thoughts on the film so you can put it down in the comments and hopefully there are people who are like i really liked it because i like hearing that that people have differing opinions and tell me why you liked it because maybe i'm missing something i don't know but anyway uh gotta give it a rating real quick so out of five stars potentially with half stars in play i can only give it one and a half stars uh, i was between one and a half and two stars because of the technical things I like, like the soundtrack, cinematography, directing. And for the most part, the acting's pretty solid. But it's just, the script is such a problem. And the film feels so long and drawn out and boring. And you get teased so much and just don't get the payout. One and a half stars, I'm sorry. But that's, that's how I feel. But anyway, like I said, comments, let's talk about it. Uh, do me a quick favor too, hit that subscribe button, and uh, if you do, go ahead and also hit the notification bell. That way you know anytime I'm putting up a review or anytime I'm doing a live stream or any of that stuff. But I really would appreciate more subscribers because I think it's like 70-some percent of people who watch my videos don't subscribe. And if I had all those people su subscribers, or even a portion, I could get to the 1,000 mark, the 1,000 th subscriber mark, and then... That would be a nice milestone for me. Um, just looking to, you know, grow a little bit. But whatever. Uh, I mean, I don't stress it too much. But I, I do appreciate people just checking out these videos. So thanks for taking your time and checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.